Hey guys, Dennis from DC Supershine here. We are talking about pads today, airway, airway pads specifically. Uh, they're the only ones that I use now. I used to use more of the um, spiral sewn, you could call it, where they, they, they sew a string around the, uh, around the whole wheel. It's tightly knit. Um, what I don't like about those is it creates too much heat. I've set a lot of them on fire before, especially when you're using a 6,000 RPM and you're doing diamond plate, they heat up very, very quickly. So I use Airways now. Um, so I have two, two different companies here. Uh, these are the Marpole pads that I've been using for a little while. If you look at the pads, the way they're constructed, they look awesome. Okay, so, you know, they feel great, they look great. The only problem is whenever you put them on your machine, a lot of them vibrate. So um, at 6,000 RPM, when a wheel vibrates, it's brutal to work with. So usually if they vibrate too much, I just migrate them to my 3,000 and I use them there. And uh, if they're no good, then I just set them aside. That doesn't happen too, too often. Usually I can work through the vibration with a 3000. But uh, a thing to note whenever you're looking at pads, I don't know if you can see this, but whenever you get a little bit closer on your center ring, you can see that the material here is not touching the center ring. So oftentimes that'll create some vibration. And then also whenever you put your, your flange on, you want your flange to be over as much of your centering as possible. And here you can see that the teeth are, past, are, are, are a little bit too long. So with that, again, it causes a little bit of vibration and also it creates more chances of your teeth opening up and your pad um, coming apart on you. Now, mind you, I haven't had any of these Marpoles come apart on me yet, but um, I, I, I've heard of some of the, the polishers out there that uh, they've had some of these wheels come apart. What you want to look for, these are my wheels. You want your centering or your flange to cover the centering completely. So it just keeps your teeth in uh, a lot tighter and less chances of them opening up and coming apart. Okay, so I have, I use, I'd say three pads religiously. And then there's four or five other ones or one or two other ones that I'll use periodically whenever I'm doing certain things. So for example, some, some people call this a sisal or a sisal. I'm French, I call it sisal. Um, it's a pretty rough pad. I use this on stainless with a 3500 RPM whenever I'm not sanding. So if I'm doing a one step on a fender, for example, and I want to clean it up, this is the pad I use at 3500 RPM. It's a, a, with, with a high cutting bar, it works extremely well for your first, for your first cut. And then uh, I'll use a medium cut after that to clean it up, to remove some of the scratches. And then I'll use my flannel you can use, a, you can use a, a cotton as well, but flannel or cotton will work for your finishing, uh, normally with a, with a blue or a pink bar. Now, just to show you the difference between a heavy cut or a medium cut, for example, a heavy cut, this is a 16 ply heavy cut yellow. It's very, very stiff. So whenever you try to bend the sides of it, you can, like I can't, I can't bend this, okay? It's very, very stiff. On a medium cut, you can bend it a little bit easier, okay? So this is what I consider a medium cut. And of course, whenever you're finishing your cotton, this is a 12 inch cotton, it bends very easy. And then of course, your finishing pad, your flannel, it's, it's very, very soft. So this is what you want to use for finishing. Okay, so um, like I mentioned, these are the pads that, uh, that I use. I just wanted to mention real quick that, uh, you know, there's several brands out there, several colors. You know, I've used blue and purple and green and all those different colors. Um, and some of the, 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 you know, some of the purple ones out there and blues are very, very good. Usually some are heavy or medium cut. There's a variation depending on the company that you, uh, you buy from. Uh, I just like keeping things simple. You know, instead of using, you know, six, seven, eight different uh, types of pads for different applications or whatever, all you really need, to, need is a heavy cut that you like, a medium cut that you like, and a finishing pad that you like. And if it works for you, keep using those. You know, in, instead of switching all the time, trying new things. Um, you know, whenever it comes to, uh, to colors and all that, you know, these are two heavy cut pads. This one's a little bit more stiff than this one. This one's still very, very stiff, but there's a little bit more give to it, okay? When it, when, when it comes to that, it's more about personal preference. This doesn't cut any better than this. In my opinion, they cut pretty much the same. It's just because I like this one more. It's a little bit less stiff, a little bit more give to the pad, it just seems to be smoother 
and easier for me to use whenever I'm using my 6,000 RPM. Whether it's orange and yellow or all orange or whatever, to me it doesn't matter. My line of pads are gonna be available extremely soon. What I like about my pads compared to the other companies is first of all, the manufacturer I'm dealing with is testing these at 6,000 RPM. So that's gonna be a bonus. There's not many companies out there that are testing their, their, their wheels or their pads at 6,000 RPM. So we're gonna be a little bit safer when we're using them with at 6,000 RPMs. The clinch ring's very, very strong. I like the fact that the clinch ring's the same size as my, my, uh, my flanges. The material is really good. My heavy cut is stiff, great to work with, zero vibration in all the ones I've tested so far. Same thing with my medium cut. You know, I, 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 like, I like the stiffness of this and I think that I'm, I have a little bit more testing to do with this pad, but I think I'm gonna be able to do some finishing with this as well on stainless. And then my flannel, it's just, you know, normal other flannel pad that, you know, most other companies have. We use flannels at, you know, 3,000 to 2,000 RPM and up. So uh, this is not a pad I'd recommend using at 6,000 RPM, doesn't matter what company you're dealing with. Okay guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Now like I, you know, there's a lot of things whenever it comes to pads, just like bars, there's tons of questions, there's different companies, all sorts of different, oh, that's another thing I, I forgot to mention, is size. I use 10 inch to 12 inch. I don't use anything smaller. Um, you know, there's, there's polishers out there that believe that using a 10 inch over an eight or a nine inch will reduce the lifespan of your tool. I don't really see, really see the difference. So, uh, you know, if I use an eight inch or a 10 inch, the 10 inch becomes a nine inch and an eight inch very quickly anyway. So, you know, the span of the life of the, of the wheel at 10 inch is very low. So for that to be affecting your tool in any way, to me, doesn't make any sense. So um, again, thanks for watching. Uh, there's, you know, I'm sure you guys have lots of questions. Please comment below uh, if there's stuff that I haven't covered, if you have anything specific to, that you want to ask about certain pads. Um, I'll do my best to answer your questions. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. Like me on Facebook and on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next one.